In this video, I would be going through creation of subsystems in Hypermesh. Now that we have completed the mesh for the sheet metal parts and the cast part, along with definition of materials and properties, and also the connections that are established through connectors paradigm, let's get into the creation of subsystems using the subsystem browser. Let me click on the assembly menu bar on top and click on the subsystem ribbon. This opens the subsystem browser which can be docked and undocked. So let me move the subsystem browser to the right. Also open the includes browser on the left. So let me quickly set in the entity selectors to elements and isolate the transmission bracket components along with its rigid as you see on my screen. So let me just quickly go ahead, select the element and do a find attached and isolate only the transmission bracket components. So let me do a right click and say isolate. I have all the components, basically the elements associated with the transmission brackets, including the rigid. So I select the elements. I do a select the element and do an attached and you see the elements being selected. I set it to components now in the entity selector and you see the component browser, all of the components being highlighted. I drag and drop them in the subsystem browser here and call that subsystem as a TR bracket subsystem. So this way, I've created a subsystem for the transmission bracket here. Let me go ahead and display all the elements here. So let me go to the model browser here and move to the component browser. Let me select it as elements in the entity selector. Choose one of the elements on top for the IP subsystem and do an attached and let me isolate that you see I have all my sheet metal parts isolated now which I can move to a subsystem called as an IP subsystem and create a subsystem called IP subsystem so now that I have the element selected I set the entity selected to components so the components get highlighted in the component browser I drag and drop this in the subsystem browser to create a new subsystem which is subsystem 2 as you see on my screen let me go ahead and name that rename that as ip subsystem i rename the first subsystem as the tr bracket subsystem and subsystem 2 that we just created to an ip subsystem So now we have two subsystems created. One is the IP subsystem, the other one is the TR bracket subsystem. Now that we have the subsystems created, we see that the connectors are placed in the respective subsystems, as you see on my right, and the same with the TR bracket system as well. So we have its respective connectors in each of the subsystems. Now let's go ahead to the model browser and create a property for the two subsystems to be connected so i go ahead and create a, a beam section for uh, the 1d element to be created so i let me go to create and say a beam section and go ahead with the name sp bar and set the section type as rod and give certain parameters to the radius or the dimension here
so now that I've defined the beam section so let me go ahead and create a property so I'll call this as P bar property and then set the card image to P bar let me scroll down in the entity editor and and set it to P bar and set the material here using present material that's already available I choose the steel material and assign it to the beam property and assign the beam section as well and now that we have the property created let me quickly go ahead to the connectors menu bar and click on connect ribbon and define a new control for these attachments so I'll create a bolt general or bolt C bar in this case and define certain parameters for the bolt C bar sort of a configuration and assign the property that we just created which is the P bar and link the property here and once we have the controls defined let's go about defining the connection between these two attachments so at the interface points for each of these two subsystems we have four attachments here two on the either side for each of the subsystems so let us choose these attachments and set the controls to bolt c bar in the drop down and we have the 1d connection being established and on the right you can see another subsystem which is created which is basically a connection file between the two subsystems and I can just change the visualization in the view controls to see the 1d as a 3d element so you see it here and on the right in the subsystem browser I have a new subsystem that's being created which I can go ahead and rename it to as a connection file connecting the two subsystems so let me quickly go ahead and do a quick attach as well to see if all of the two subsystems are connected so I select one element do a right click open the graphical context and do an attached and you see all of the attached elements attached and let us rename this subsystem or the connect connection that's been defined as a connection file between the two subsystems so I rename this to IP underscore TR bracket underscore C as a connection file between the two subsystems and accordingly I'll rename the same in the include browser as well so we have the connection file as well established between the two subsystems so let me go ahead and uh, organize the properties in the beam section into the subsystem which is the connection file now we have the two subsystems and the connection between the two defined in the subsystem browser and you can see that in the subsystem browser subsystems help in revision configuration and load case management in the next video I would be going through simulation setup defining loads and boundary conditions